So I'm just clearing out all the tool bags and everything that I don't need anymore and just um, keeping in um, the few bits of pots of paint and stuff I need to clown work with. Just try to get junk out and I'm just rearranging the curtains. As you can see the two door curtains and the big long pole that was over the bed covers that tailgate up beautifully. And obviously they're long enough, it's, it's that long, it, it covers up the draft as well. Um, so this chair will go in the hallway when I've got the door open sitting watching, but it can sit there quite happily. That's all tattered and broken, but I obviously can't afford a new one just yet. Got a mess on the bed now, so this, I'll, um, it doesn't really suit in here, so probably sell that on. Um, I'll put it in the front room. I have got the three blinds, black blinds, that are going up over the uh, windows there. I've got to um, try to make sense of the instructions and get them fitted to go up. Um, my washing basket so I've, i will be putting the pole the curtain back up over the cat room excuse the mess at the minute because obviously i'm moving things around I haven't done anything with that yet i think i'm going to paint that cream that door so i haven't got a curtain over the door here or over the beds at the moment um now i might get another of those poles full length poles and put those curtains there and just lower um, so they can cover up, cover up that, but um, <laughs> the cats have been climbing up and pulling that carpet down now. I, I quite like the fact that that was hidden discreet behind those curtains. So I need to get another of them big long poles um, and then put the black pole back up here and I've got my that curtain, it's a bit tatty but the cats are clawing on it, but that can probably just sit down over that so it doesn't, I don't think it touches the wheel, I'm not sure, um, unless I can afford a greener one that's a bit shorter but I don't really want to spend any more money the pole's going to cost me 25 quid which I haven't got um, but it's needed to tidy up and as you see that's a bit too open now and it's really nice with the curtain up so I did another 8 foot pole, a curtain pole um, but that's, that looks really nice to have the green going through there uh, I'm, it's something that I'm not supposed to be working at all I'm just organising but organising is knackering I found this nice little bit of tiger ply board which I'm going to be making um, the shelves and everything. It's, it's, it's all the leftovers I've got. I've basically got to make things that are leftovers here. So this is all the leftovers I've got. And that's what I'm just going to tidy up that door. Tidy up this bit here. Um, and the cream can paint that door. Um, it needs to have a bit of ruffle but not actually show through so much. Um, and then I'll probably do a cream main bit and then do a black border or something. And then I can hammer right black around the edges and... and um, waterproof um, the edge of the wood as well at the moment because golf is going to be cut in half later anyway it just needs to be tidied so that's a painting job same as I've got to paint the wheels as you can see I'm just in here organising um, don't know where I'm going to put my talking stick yet um, oh, lovely authentic shamanic um, talking stick here which I used to use as a curtain pole but I don't I don't know, too too. where I can put it up for decoration it's, it's not so much where it can go, it's a matter of finding some way of um, putting the hooks around it to actually sit it on. Short of those um, really rubbishy looking metal things. Which I'm going to have to make do with again for now. 
I don't know what to use. But anyway, that is lovely. Really impressed with that, and obviously ties up ties up the room beautifully um, to hide that uh, tailgate for now um, until I can obviously put the door and everything in and, and the and the false wall. But we have a curtain wood instead now, which makes it look so much better. So yeah, I'm just trying to sort of um, move out stuff that is just surplus at the moment. Um, get access to things like the chest of drawers. Um, <laughs> Got everything everywhere at the moment. Oh, I forgot to show you this. I say, excuse the mess, but the broken bedside table holds my drums lovely. Um, so I can still put my jackery on top and store the drums underneath, which saves the uh, them being over the bed and falling over the place. I've obviously got more storage above the bed as well, um, but that's going there. But yeah, we're bringing the green in. Obviously, I've got the, the cat cover green blanket in here, and that green will carry on through to there. Um, and also, we've got the whites, the blacks, the oranges um, paint going on as well. I've moved my little little cabin litter box off the door onto here. Um, I was going to use that for like donations and things, or you know, um, and uh, just put things in there. I've got another Barrera cat sign there. I've got to find a space for. All this would be reduced down. I've obviously got to finish the clad in there and down that bit. Um, okay, I don't think I've got enough. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Just to have all, like, all these nice shelves and that um, left without the junk on. But yeah, that's what I'm doing today. The more we can I try to sort of organise, the messier it gets. That's life, isn't it? Anyway, I hope you like that. Uh, quarter past seven Monday morning. I've really been up for a good hour or so. Um, it's a very weird morning this morning. Um, had a bad night, lots of bad dreams. It's very haunting. Um, I'm just uh, been up doing the woodwork. I let the cats out. Bentley came in. He's been out all night again. Um, he came in and then he had to go out again. I tried to ignore him to make him stay in the lorry, but no, he wanted to go out. Uh, so I thought I may as well let Mischief out and came on out for their wheeze and a bit of fresh air. They just like sniffing the ground where Connie was at her late last. Um, it's just all wrong. It's just the whole... Everything's wrong in here and now. I feel like my leg's been cut off. Anyway, so I thought, oh, well, I'm up. I'll try and do something. So I've put the sandal rack on, the shoe rack on, and just shoes to tuck behind. That's going to be a little hinged um, storage. I've put um, a box on the bottom there so I can do some paintings and they can go for donations to raise some money. Um, and I've put this top bit on here so I can put my giant business cards and postcards there. Just so you know. Um, I've got my details on somewhere people can just sort of walk through and grab them rather than having outside getting in the wet and everything they can just come and help themselves and obviously the door will be shut the door's a bit harder to shut now because that goes over a bit but um it does shut and it makes it a bit more solid for the cats to jump up and down on that's all i've already done um i'm not good i'm not good at all um i'll say i'm going to try and paint that door and then i'm going to be painting it cream um don't worry about doing anything more to it later it's obviously going to be worked on later um I'm going to cover that hole up to keep the air coming through at the moment. It's quite warm in here. <clears throat> the cats aren't eating. I've never eaten that bit of cooked chicken. Um, typical they've gone back to bed and sleeping now, isn't it? Because I'm up. So I'm going to try and jump back into bed with them. Mischief. She's just very wary. Growling outside at everything. Okay, man, what he's just lost. Even more lost he was before. He's sleeping up on the top bed and he came to me this morning for a quick cuddle but and then of course everybody woke up so she started hissing at him. Bentley wanted to come in. I'm just I don't know how we're gonna get through this to be a fair. Connie was such a big part of this journey and my my story and I think it's gonna be a while before I fully get over this. But like I say the whole 
Oh, I don't know where it is. The whole balance is wrong. If I take one cat out now, they're left alone. Because obviously Bentley doesn't stay around. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got to keep going for these sake now. I miss she loves me the bits. But I really like running her cuddles now to get her through this. But I miss Connie so much. I just took um, Caveman and Mischief at the road together, but oh, they're just not right. Caveman just doesn't want to know, and all Mischief's doing is growling and hissing and attacking him, and they're both just so upset and grieving. So I'm just going to try Caveman again now, after he's been in the toilet on his own. I just, uh, you know, try and give him some attention that way. Um, so I'm going to just cheer him up a bit. Like I say, he's never been the same since um, he's and his sister. I know his mum's gone as well, it's like. Anyway, we'll keep trying. Well, he's better with just me, but he just wants to flop. He's just got such a big swollen tummy at the moment. If he'd been a bloody horse, I'd say he'd had colic. Um, just like a big blown up tummy. And I don't know if that's just because he's fat and lazy, not done any exercise since um, being neutered, or whether he genuinely has got um, a tummy issue. He's not eating his food at the moment either. He's been a bit fussy over that, so we'll wait and see. Obviously, you know, he's having a hard time being first of all beaten up by Connie and now being beaten up by Mischief um, but like I say I mean all of them may have issues and carrying stuff and passing things one to another so I've just got to uh, say, just give these a life and uh, until they've all gone and start again one day I don't think my heart can take much more losses, but you know, I've signed up for this, so this is what I've got to do. Obviously, we don't know what he's carrying of Connie's at all. Um, but all I can do is give him my love and keep going.
I just say thank you so so much for your generous donations. I am truly grateful. <laughs>